Jessica and today's video is going to be on this floral summer fairy makeup look. Today I've partnered with Pat McGrath Labs so if you want to see how I use the PMG face system or how I got this look, just keep watching. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of questions on my brows lately since I've changed the routine a little bit but what's mainly changed is I started using brow pencils more since they give you a lot more control. The only thing that really varies in my daily routine is I might use a different brow pencil depending on the formula that I want. So if I want the brows to be softer or more precise. After I fill in my brows, I use a concealer. This one's from Pony Effect. And then I'll just clean up the brows. Lately, I've been doing this smoky brown eyeliner and a lot of you guys have been asking about it. So to do the smoked outliner, I use the Benefit Bad Galping 24 Hour Eye Pencil in Deep Brown. I'll just do a messy eyeliner with this. It doesn't need to be too clean since we're going to smoke it out anyways. And then I'm just going to do the actual wing. I'm gonna use my solar water and I'm just gonna clean up the wing. And now you can see it looks just so much sharper, but we're not done. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner. So this is the liquid eyeliner in brown. And I'm just gonna sharpen up the edge of the eyeliner. This prevents it from smudging, especially like, I'm okay with the rest of the eyeliner smudging, but the end should always be sharp. And then you can fill in the end slightly just to help it blend in with the eyeliner. So you can see it creates that kind of nice gradient effect. And then I'm gonna go in one last time with my slur water and clean up the edge. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna quickly introduce you to the PMG face system. The foundation comes in 36 shades and five different shade levels, and the powder is available in five shades. There's a foundation brush, which you can use to blend the foundation for even coverage, and a slightly tapered powder brush for precise application of powder. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. So my initial thoughts when I first swatched this at the event was that it feels almost like a barrier cream. If you've ever used a barrier cream, you feel like when you apply it, it feels smoothening right away. So this feels like almost a lightweight version of that where it feels very smoothing and then obviously it primes your skin, but I feel like this whole system, the PMG face system, really focused on hydrating, which I really, really, really love because I personally have super dry skin. So before I apply any base makeup, I always have to make sure that my skin is very, very hydrated. Next, we're gonna move on to foundation, which is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in shade Light Medium 10. They do have 36 shades of this foundation. So I think this is my shade. Like initially, you might think it looks a little bit darker than my face, but it is the same shade as my neck. I'm gonna use the foundation brush since it comes with the system. At the event, Pat McGrath actually used her fingers. So I think I'll use my fingers on the other side of my face just to see the difference. But this brush does give you a lot of control with, you know, where the foundation goes. So you can see the difference here. This side just looks a lot more even. And then over here, you can still see like redness. I'm gonna try to blend this in on the other side with my fingers, like mother. She said using her fingers was her method for like runway, like supermodel skin. This is blending in very nicely with my fingers though. I never use my fingers for a foundation, so very interesting. So here I'm just building up the coverage. It's definitely more of a sheer formula, but you can get it to a medium coverage using a sponge. I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in so you can see the coverage. So my redness you can't see anymore. Dark circles you can still see a little bit. Blemishes is just less red down here. And I have worn this foundation for a whole day before and I did take a picture of it after. I used it with the powder and I think by the end of the day, I was just a little bit shiny. This is what my skin looked like by the end of the day. And also this is the raw picture, okay? So 
not edited. I think this was after eight hours of wear. So the coverage is still there. It's not breaking apart at all. No separation or anything. So best method of application, in my opinion, if you want a medium coverage or you want the max coverage that this foundation can offer would be with a beauty sponge. I think with your fingers or with this foundation brush, you can get a really light coverage, but best method for medium coverage would be with the beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna go straight in with powder. This is my favorite powder lately. Out of all of the products in this collection, I think the, the powder has to be my favorite. This has to be the most finely milled powder I've ever used. And then I'm gonna use the brush, the powder brush, to apply it all over the face. With the powder brush, it does have a taper tip, so you can apply it right underneath. But since the brush is larger, I think it's perfect for the whole face. Like you can just see, it looks so much more blurred and perfected. Let's go to contour. I'm actually gonna use that Pat McGrath um, powder brush. I usually use powder brushes like this for contour since the taper tip does allow for precise application. And it's easier to diffuse the contour because the brush is larger. This is the Love 3CE Cheek Maker in Giving Pleasure. It's a really nice peachy tone. It's been my go-to summer blush. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Ofra Cosmetics Glow Up Palette in this shade down here, uh, Rodeo Drive. I got these on YesStyle. I think they're supposed to be for nail art, but I use them for makeup. So it comes in this little case with a bunch of different flowers. And I think I'm gonna go in with, which one should I use today? I'll use yellow because that's the one I used last time. So I take some lash glue and I just apply it to where I want the flower to go. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some eyeliner dots underneath my eyes, and now I'm gonna go in with the lashes. It just adds that subtle eye opening effect. Next, I'm gonna curl my lower lashes and apply mascara to those. Moving on to the lips, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked 2. I'm gonna lighten that with a concealer pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip shades as of late. This is the Sunny Space Fluff Matte in Baked. It's like a really nice nudie orange. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Pat McGrath for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go check out the new PMG face system, especially the powder. I'm letting you guys know now, this is the best thing that happened to makeup in 2019. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Jamie